heaven? There is a city called heaven. I want to go there, saints. But there's only one way to get there. That's the way of the cross. Amen. The way of the cross leads home. Jesus is the answer. Everybody that's talking about heaven, they ain't going there. I might as well be frank with you. There's too much Peter Patton going on now. People deceiving and being deceiving and thinking that they can get to heaven any kind of way. You gotta live right, pray right, walk right, talk right, and be right when your time comes. You don't know the day nor the hour. And our Lord will call time. Amen. Some folks time is before. And some of us will be here when he gets. That day that he calls time. But one thing is of a certainty. You either going to go up or down. And it depends on your life. When he comes. Or when he calls your name. Time will be no more. Let's bow our heads in word of prayer, most gracious and heavenly Father, with a heart full of praise and thanks. For your many wonderful blessings, great and small, and for the power of God which is under salvation to all that believe. We thank you today for the beauty of the day and for the leaves changing, colors coming forth. And those that have reached their peak are now dropping off of the trees. A change according to nature, which thou hast ordained. Father, we thank you. For the change that have come about, and that you sent forth your son into the world that we might live and not die. Your grace enabling us to stand and withstand in this evil day. Father, we want to thank you. Watching over, protecting us, caring for us through seen and unseen danger. That's if you remember those on the battlefield fighting for freedom. Remember those in the sick hospital rooms, sick beds. Remember the less fortunate we are. Remember America as a whole and all the countries, dear Lord, all over the world that have drifted away from thee. That they might be grafted back into. The foundation that standeth sure. Father, remember the police officers on the street conducting and controlling and protecting the lives of all others. That you will give them a sense of life, the importance of life, and then protect them. That they may be able, dear Lord, to do their job as is called and chosen to do. Father, remember us as we come to this portion of the service that you will open unto us the windows of heaven for us out of blessing. Giving us an understanding of the principles and the teachings and the doctrines of Christ. That we as a people may show forth your praise as lights in our lives for others to see, know, and understand. In the name of Jesus Christ, we do pray, and for his sake, we thank you. Together can we all say, Amen. Amen. Give an honor to God, for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the ministers of the gospel, the diggers that are assembled to the congregation, we say good afternoon, and may God bless you. Amen. God is good, and his mercy endureth to all generation. Thank God for the scroll which reads obedience, love, reverence, and respect. First being to God, then to leadership, then to one another. Thank God for the sparks from the animal on page three of your programs today. 
First one says, you will find the world's church open for service every Monday morning down at the courthouse. Yeah. Folks do know how to act on the weekend. Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, they acting up. You got to be in the courthouse on Monday morning. At the hearing, amen. To hear what the judge have to say after they make their plea on why. Amen. Mm -hmm. So you'll find the world's church open for service every Monday morning down at the courthouse. Second one says, when you start following the world, you stop following God. The two have no relationship. Amen. There's no communion between light and darkness. Righteousness and sin don't get along. Amen. So when you start following the world of sin, you will stop following the righteous God. Amen. Third one says, as the ship is in the ocean and the ocean is not in the ship. So you be in the world, but don't let the world be in you. Amen. Amen. People today have drifted, church. <clears throat> what once was as a standard of living mm -hmm. no longer is today in some folks. But there's always going to be a remnant that will hold fast. Amen. Somebody has to hold fast. That those that are loose and go into different directions might have a witness. Amen. Brother John says, I would have got a lot of baggage. Bring it on, John. We'll work on that baggage. That's it. Amen. One sister came to me one time and said, Brother John, I said, Why? He said, I saw him in the ABC store coming out with a little brown bag. And somehow they put him in little brown bags. Amen. That's right. Thank God, all that's over. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, <laughs> it says one thing about holiness, church. Thank you. Takes time to be holy. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You don't get to be holy right away. You grow into it. That's why we don't jump on people when they come to church. You got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do this. You let them graduate because you don't want to choke them. Amen. You want them to gradually grow. See, if a wound heals before its time, there's always going to be some pus. Amen. Y'all hear me? There's always going to be some pus hanging around. And if you cover that pus up and don't let it get out of the system, you're going to have an incurable wound. Amen. All right. So you let it heal itself gradually. Right. From the inside out, you'll see it. After a while, you see a scab up there. You pull that scab off and there's no infection. It has healed itself proper. Same thing about coming to God. Amen. You're in the world. But Jesus prayed for us. Father, keep them from the evil of the world. Don't take them out of the world, but keep them from the evil. So as the ship is in the ocean, but the ocean is not in the ship, so are we to be in this world. The world has no business being in God's church. Amen. And then we are the people of God. We are the church of God. 
Amen. And the church of God is supposed to be clean, pure, and holy. How else is somebody else going to be drawn to Christ if you are all contaminated as they are? You can't win a sinner by being in sin. Somebody has to be on solid ground. Amen. Thank God for my feet. And for the witness being in my life to the degree that Brother John now doesn't have the liquor bottle and people don't see him coming out of the ABC store. Thank God for that. That's because of he didn't see me in the liquor store. I'm on solid ground. Amen. Hey, giving the word of God. Amen. Took him back to his foundation. Amen. And that is, you don't curse, you don't swear, and you need a woman alone. Amen. So church, we thank God for the power of God. On the back of the program, it says, now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith. Isn't that something? Giving heed to what? Seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Having their conscience seared with a what? Hot arm. Just like they're being branded. <laughs> deceived and being deceived. Believing that this is the way it's supposed to be and it doesn't matter what you say, regardless of what is written in scripture, I'm going to do it my way. You're sadly mistaken and on your way to hell. Right. Now listen, now in hearing all of this, these things, there is a question that must be asked of you. What's your status. Right. Amen. 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 What's Amen. your status? So truly, we thank God indeed. In further the program, it says, though perilous times come, there is hope. There's hope in all the world. There's hope for all the world. And the only hope we found is in Jesus. Amen. May God bless you, church. Heaven and smile upon you. Let us continue to hold on and hold on. Look up and don't give up. We thank God for this being another Sunday. There's a lot of turmoil in the country. There's a lot of turmoil in the world. And it's all because of a change. Amen. A change. Now, God deals with changes, but God don't change. What he has stated to be in the beginning, it is to be today, and it shall be tomorrow. No change. Jesus came to fulfill the prophecy that was spoken. A virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, and he shall save his people from their sin. Amen. So I thank God for being saved today. I thank God for what he's done, doing plans to do. For a thought today, <clears throat> Pearl is time shall come. Amen. Perilous times shall come. And they've come because of a change. Amen. They have come to be because of a change. And it's nothing new. Because when God created that Adam and Eve and the earth was people that came about a change. And that change stemmed from angels who looked down on the earth and saw the daughters of men. 
And they came down and just took those whom he chose. They were giants in the earth because the power of the angel was coming out in the children. And they had a bad spirit about them. And the Lord said, my spirit should not always dwell with man. Because he's flesh. In the book of Genesis, church. <clears throat> the sixth chapter. Beginning right at the fifth verse. <clears throat> God saw this change. See, when God created man, he created him in his image and after his likeness. Mm -hmm. Amen. In his image and after his likeness. The likeness of God is righteousness. Righteousness. And the fifth verse says, And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only what? Evil continually. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. Here they had made a change from righteousness to ungodliness to the degree that they were continuously wicked. Mm. Yeah. You know, God don't like sin. Amen. And when he gets tired of something, he destroys it. That's right. Read. And it repented the Lord. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him to his heart. And the Lord said, I will do what? Destroy man whom Re I have created. Whom I have created from where? The face of the face earth. Face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping things, and the fowls of the air, for it what? Repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. There's always someone. That's right. There's always going to be someone. Yeah. That will find favor Amen. in the eyesight of God. That's right. When you look around today, churches are more political than they are spiritual. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's, it's no longer right. the teachings of the gospel of Jesus Christ how to be free from sin. Thank you. Tell it. It's all about everything else and prosperity. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Safe to preach that. Sin is no longer sinful. Mm -hmm. Churches smile on sin, and sin feels right at home. That's right. Not here. Preach on. <laughs> Amen. Not here. That's right. If you're out of order, you're going to be spotted. That's right. And uncovered. Amen. Amen. So as time went on, God told Noah what to do because Noah was pleasing. Mm -hmm. He was perfect. Yeah. See, God don't take an imperfect something to make other things perfect. That's right. You have to be perfect for God to use to bring forth perfectness in what? In others. You can't tell me to put the bottle down if you are drinking from the bottle. That's right. <laughs> That's true. You can't tell me to put the cigarette down if I see you smoking the cigar. Thank you. If I'm in the quicksand and you in the quicksand, what benefit can we both be to each other in the quicksand? You in sin, I'm in sin, sin sinking. Mm -hmm. 
Somebody got to be perfect in order to help you to be what? Perfect. Yes. That's right. So Noah was perfect. And God gave him the perfect plan of redemption. And he gave him instructions to build the ark, to do this, to do that. And I want you to bring into the ark two of every kind, of every species. I want the male and I want the female. Mm -hmm. 22nd verse of that sixth chapter says what? Thus did Noah. Thus did Noah read. According to all that God commanded him, so did he. And you can't get down the street today because that perfect man That's right. followed God's commandments. Yeah. And today the world is people. That's right. Amen. But once again, change. Yeah. Amen. Amen. In the book of Isaiah, 24th chapter. <clears throat> Get the first verses. Listen to this. Behold, the earth maketh, the Lord maketh the earth what empty empty and do what make it the waste and what and turn it upside down and what scatter the broad the inhabitants there and it shall be what as with the people so what with the priests should be church that's right should be as with the servant what so with the master shouldn't be as with the maid what so with the mistress shouldn't be that's right as with the buyer what so with the seller shouldn't be as with the lender, what? So with the borrower. Shouldn't be. As with the taker of usury, what? So with the giver of usury to him. Should not be. That's right. The land shall be utterly empty, empty. and utterly spoiled, for the Lord have what? Spoken this word. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languishes and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. Read. The earth is also defiled under the inhabitants. Under the inhabitants of the earth. Read. Because they have transgressed the laws. Here's the key. They have transgressed the laws. Read. Changed the ordinance. Changed the ordinances. Read. Broken the everlasting. Broken the everlasting. Come. For that right. reason, the next verse says, therefore what? Have the curse devoured the earth. And what? And they that dwell therein are desolate. Read. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned. And what? And few men left. Y'all get that? Amen. And Amen. few, few men, men left. left. Amen. That's the book. Ecclesiastes. I think I want the seventh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where I want to go. Amen. <clears throat> twenty-seven verse says what? Seven twenty-seven says what? Behold, Behold, what? This have I found. This have I found. Saith the preacher. Saith the preacher. Read. Counting one by one. Counting one by one. To read. Find the account. To find out the I'll account. Count. Read. Which yet my soul seeketh. Yet my soul seeketh, but what? I find out. One man among a thousand have I found. He said, one man. That's it. Just one. Few men are left. Look That's at right. the presidency, those running today. Church, there has never been in the state of this, this union. Mm -hmm. This country. That's right. This world. Hmm. Two people running and none of them are failed. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> one crooked and the other one calling and the other one crooked. <laughs> <laughs> Few men left. So what's that? It's in the book. Man, a few men left. One man among a thousand have I found, but what? 
but a woman among all those have I not found. I know y'all wants to put Hillary in the White House. I know y'all wants y'all wants to put Hillary in. Preach on, Pastor. There's few men, one out of a thousand, but a woman have I what? Not, Not found. found. So her name says what? Lo, this only have this I only found. have I found that God had made man what upright, uh, right. but what happened? But they have sought out many inventions. Why do you seek out inventions? You're not satisfied with the invention. Mm -hmm. there it is. The change has come about because people are not satisfied with what God has done. Mm -hmm. For instance, you got these earrings. So they put holes in their ears because they ain't satisfied. Do you not know that God gave this body everything it needs? That's right. Yeah. If he wanted a hole in your ear loop, he would have put one there for an earring to hang in, but he didn't do it. You have sought out an invention to put a hole in your ear so that you can preach it. Hang what you want. Hang and dangle. Yes. It wasn't designed. The tongue was not designed to be pierced with a pedal inside your tongue. Thank you. Your nose was not designed for a nose spike to be going through. I saw a woman the other day had two here and two there. Oof. Everything this body needs, God put it there. That's right. And if he didn't put a hole in your ear, do you not know? Same thing about your smoking cigarettes. If you know anything about a furnace and a stove, it has to extinguish. It has to exhaust the fumes. And if God wanted you to smoke cigarettes, he'd put a smokestack in the top of your head. Because that should never be in the body. That's why people be coughing and choking and going. <laughs> I know I need to stop. Still at. The body is telling you to quit. And you're refusing to do so. That's right. An addiction. Mm -hmm. So people see not these inventions. They, they have invented the degree now that they're going to put the woman over top of the man. God has a divine order. That's right. And Paul says, I suffer not a woman to teach nor to use of authority over the man, but be in silence. Yeah. But man wants to change. That's right. That's he wants to invent a new thing. Yeah. 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 That's right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I've said this before. And I'll repeat it. If Hillary is to be the president, it's right. because America has fallen from grace. That's right. Amen. And when you fall from grace, church, the grace of the almighty God, the amazing grace, yeah. you are susceptible to destruction. That's right. And you watch it. Amen. You mark it down in your little book. Mm -hmm. The pastor said so. Preach on. Amen. Amen. Pearlous times. Pearlous times. And Timothy, step along. Second Timothy. <clears throat> Third chapter. <clears throat> mm -hmm. First, first. This know also that what? That in the last days, that perilous when? time. That when? In that the when? last days. That when? In the last days. That in the last days, what's going to happen? Perilous times. Perilous means troublesome, hard, difficult times. 
Read. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Men shall be what? Lovers of their own selves. Covets, desiring to have something that belongs to somebody else. That's right. Amen. You know, sometimes people set their sights on something. Mm -hmm. Amen. Listen to Brother Willie's testimony. And somehow she happened to be found sleeping in her car. Mm -hmm. And he not wanting to <clears throat> see her left outside sleeping in her car. But I tell you something. Elder said, be careful that you don't take a snake into your bosom. That's right. Amen. A snake is a snake. That's right. And a snake will bite you. That's right. It's all like the story about the man that saw the snake caught out in the cold and he took the snake, put him down in his bosom and warmed him the snake up. And when the snake got warm, he came to his senses and said, I'm a snake and this is a man. I'm supposed to bite him. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, yeah. So one that's sleeping in her car is sleeping in her car for a reason. There's a purpose behind it. She's failed to do what she's supposed to do. God says, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor is seed begging bread. bread. That's right. If she out there stretched out sleeping in her car, amen, there is something wrong. That's right. Preach it. Be careful what you take into your bosom. That's right. Amen. Amen. And you just might take a snake. Yeah. And you know, a snake makes you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. And you shouldn't be feeling uncomfortable in your own home. Not in your house. Uh -uh. That's your house. Your castle. That's right. Amen. That's right. Solomon also said, I find more bitter than death. Who? That's right, the woman. The woman. Ah. Read the for, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. What? Covetous. Covetous, what? Boasters. Boasters read. Proud. Proud, what? Blasphemy. Blasphemous, speaking against that which is established. Yeah. Constitution of the United States of America has been established. It's profitable. It has worked. But today, there are Supreme Court justice that says that the Constitution of these United States is unconstitutional. Mm. Isn't that something? <clears throat> There's a change, church. That's right. And when God gets fed up with this mess, that's right. He destroys it. Yeah. Ooh. Somebody got to be bold enough to stand up and say something. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Bring it to the top. Amen. People want to take. Shh, shh, shh. You don't supposed to say that. That's right. You have to That's be right. politically correct. Correct. <laughs> Look. We ought to obey God. That's right. Rather than men. Amen. Amen. How we doing, church? Preach on. Preach on. Yeah. Blasphemer speaking against what's established. And then watch this now. Disobedient to who? To parents. Every go. parent that raises up their children, raise them up so that they one day might be married and have children, that they might have grandchildren. Mm -hmm. People are dying today and ain't got no grandchild to say peace to. That's right. And why? Somewhere along the line, something ain't right. That's right. Disobedient to parents. A parent raised you up to be a man or a woman, That's not right. to be an in between. Preach it. You don't raise your son up and call him Steve Easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell it. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Watch out. People changing their name. You know, they want to take and put a Y where it ought to be an I. That's right. Things of this nature. Uh, the Constitution is you were born according to that name. That's what's on your birth certificate. And if you change it, you are deviating. That's right. This, oh, you're saying my parent didn't do it right. So I'm going to correct it. How are we doing, church? Disobedient to parents. I didn't put no Y on the end of my name, how we. No, it ain't no how we, it is how word. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Amen. Yes. I want you to know that I'm a man. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Full fledged man. All right. I've got a wife back there to tell you that I'm a man. All right. All right, All right. All right. <laughs> Not in the physical sense, but also in the materialistic yeah. sense. I take care of my business as a man. That's right. Amen. Right. How are we doing, church? Yes. Are we men? Good. Keep on. <laughs> Amen. Read a little further, brother. We got to step along. Unthankful. What? Unthankful. What? They here today. Unthankful. Isn't that something? <coughs> Unthankful, unholy, without what? Natural affection. People spend more money on a dog mm. <laughs> than they do a child. Wow. <laughs> Give them all kinds of names, buttons. Yeah. <laughs> Poochie. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Some people are in love with their dogs. Amen. Don't you don't 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 you mess with buttons. No, <laughs> Oh yeah. Amen. Get upset too. Yeah. Mm. Without natural affection, you should not have, as a man, you should not have the affection for another man that you ought to have for your wife. Yes. Yes. As a woman, you should not have the same affection for another woman that you ought to have for your husband. It is unnatural. Yes. That's right. right. Preaching. Amen. Amen. <sighs> Without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontent, no self control. Mm. Okay. All out of control. Loose, just as loose. And there's one thing about flesh today, it loves to be loose. That's right. Men don't want to wear socks today. Mm. Mm. I got socks. On. That's right. And guess what? They match. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> I wear undershirts. I wear underpants. Amen. Because that's the way I was brought up to do. Thank you. Women today don't want to wear bras. They don't want to wear girls. They want their flesh to be loose and shaped. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. You telling the truth. Coming up. So Sadas tell you, coming up, you put something on to keep the flesh tight like it's supposed to be. Preaching the truth. <laughs> and you got the bra that fit your size and you didn't stuck things in the bra so they stick it all out. <laughs> <laughs> you might How be better than that. How we doing, church? <laughs> Men don't want to button up their shirt and ties now. They don't no, need a shirt open so they can right. see the hat. <laughs> Cover up. Flesh don't want to be concealed. Yeah. <clears throat> don't want to be governed. Let, let me show you something. Go back to Genesis. <clears throat> That's right. Go back to Genesis, way back. <clears throat> 
225. Mm -hmm. 225. Genesis 225. Watch this now. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. You see, when God created man and woman, <clears throat> they were both naked and were not ashamed because their eyes had not come open to shameless mm -hmm. things that are shameful. Yeah, good and evil. Amen. Mm -hmm. But after they had partaken, been fruit. After they had partaken of. Mm -hmm. When the voice of God was heard, they hid themselves. And why? Because their eyes had come open. That's right. Three and five says what? For God doth know that in the day you eat thereof, What's going to then your eyes shall be open. And what? And you shall be as God. Knowing what? Good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and to a tree that desired to make one wise, she did what? She took of the fruit thereof. And what? And did eat. And what? And gave also unto her husband. And what? With her. And what? And he did eat. And the eyes of the boat were open and they knew that they were naked. Now watch this now. Here's flesh. Look at the difference in flesh. Read. And they sewed fig leaves And together. they sewed fig leaves. You see these big leaves? See the big leaves? Mm -hmm. Lock it, daughter. See these big leaves? That's what they did. They took fig leaves. And they did what with these fig leaves? And made themselves aprons. Made them aprons. Just cover a little part over here. And cut a little part back there. Mm. Imagine that. And what? <laughs> and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. Watch and this, Adam, man. his wife. Read. And his wife hid themselves and from what? the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. Isn't that something? 11 verse says, And he said, Who told thee thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? Read. And the man said, The woman the who thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And when God got finished, when God got finished. That's right. Watch he out. made them coats of skin. That's right. Huh? He made them coats of skin to cover them with. Show you the difference in flesh. Flesh wants to be loose. Mm -hmm. God wants your flesh to be covered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the 13th chapter. No, back over in Timothy. <clears throat> back over in Timothy. Mm -hmm. Without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontent, incontent, no self-control, fierce, yeah. despisers of those that are good. Mm -hmm. You know, if you stand up for what's right today, you are despised and rejected. That's right. Amen. Amen. Read. Traitors. Traitors. What? Heady. Heady. What? High minded. You can't tell them nothing. I had a woman in the car today. Oh, she's a Hillary person. <laughs> oh, you going to believe all them lies that they don't put out by Hillary. Don't believe all them lies they don't put out by Hillary. I know you just don't want a woman to be the president. <laughs> I said, y'all just look like y'all want to put her in. <laughs> Hedy, how am I? How am I? I'm on Read. Lovers of pleasures. Lovers of what? Pleasures. Pleasures what? More than lovers of God. More than lovers of God. Read. Having a form of God. Having a form of godliness. Read. But denying the power thereof. But don't want the power. That's right. You know, some folks don't want righteousness because it will change their way of life. That's right. They don't That's want right. knowledge because it will change their way of thinking. That's right. And they are bent mm -hmm. 
They are bent That's right. on believing that their way is the right way. That's right. Like Elder Mark said some years ago, it's bad when you don't know mm -hmm. and then don't know that you, you don't, don't know. know. <laughs> yeah. You're in bad shape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Deceiving and then what? Be Being deceived. deceived. Read. From such, turn, turn away. away. <sighs> Say, Mark. Jesus was speaking at the end of the world. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. By the end of the world, because the disciples had asked him about it. <clears throat> so he said in the 24th, 13, 24th. Listen to this. <clears throat> but in those days, after that tribulation, after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give a light, and the stars of heaven shall what? Fall. Read. And the powers that are in the heaven shall be shaken. And then shall what? They see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power great and glory. Great power and glory. Read. And then shall he send his angels. And what? And shall gather together his elect from the four winds. From the four winds. From the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. 28 verse says what? Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When what? When her branch is yet tender. And what? Put it forth leaves. Put it forth leaves what? You know that summer is not. So ye in what? Light like manner. manner. When you see all these things or you see these things come to pass, know that it is not even wet. At the doors. Amen. Somebody knocking. <clears throat> you see, when the door is being knocked upon, that means there's somebody on the other side of the door. That's right. On your front doorstep. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's keeping you from whomever is the door. That's right. So when you see all this stuff coming about that you see going on now, we're living in perilous times. That's right. These are the days that were spoken of by God. Amen. The last days. Mm -hmm. Listen, read. Verily I say unto you. Verily I say unto you what? That just this generation shall this not pass. This generation shall what? Not pass. Read. Till all these things be done. And what? Heaven and earth shall pass away. Heaven and earth going to pass away, but what? My words shall not pass away. Read. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man. But of no that man. day and of that hour what? Knoweth no man. You don't know. Got a friend of mine now. It's going to be buried this week. He and his wife was out. He had been stricken with a stroke and so forth and so forth and on and so forth and so on. Went out to the store, he and his wife getting around, doing this, came in, fixed dinner. And he was adjusting his oxygen because he has oxygen to help him to breathe a little better. Sometimes he used it, sometimes he didn't. And all of a sudden, he came in the kitchen where she was cleaning up the kitchen and said, Emily, help me. And she turned around and looked and saw him gasping. She grabbed the chair and set him down in. She did a nurse check. She didn't find a pulse. She called 911. They flew him down to whatnot. They'll be burying him this week. You don't know your day. That's right. You don't know your hour. You don't know your time. That's right. Amen. Amen. Read that again, brother. Heaven and earth shall pass. Heaven and earth gonna pass, but what? My words shall not pass away. But of the day and of that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but who? But the Father. Take ye heed. What? 
Watch and pray. Watch and pray, Reed. For you know not, you when, know the time not is. when the time is. That's right. You know, it's interesting how when people think they're going to die, when they think they're going to die, they be calling all up. I apologize to you for this. I apologize that if I did anything to you, please, please forgive me. And then after they don't die, mm. go right back to the right same back. old ugly ways. That's right. But when they think they're going to die, Oh man, they can get right there. Right home. Yeah. That's right. You don't know the day, you don't know the hour. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Read. For the Son of Man is as a man taking the son a far of man journey. Is as a man taking a waterfall journey who what? Who left his house. Left his house, gave authority to his servants, to every man his work. What? And commanded and the porter. And commanded the porter to do what? Watch. Watch. Watch ye therefore. Read. For you know not when the master of the you house don't know cometh. when the master of the house cometh at evil or at midnight or at the cock crowing or when in the or morning. In the morning. Read. Let's come in suddenly. Let's come in suddenly. What? He finds you sleeping. Sleeping or doing something you ought not so to be doing. That's right. Like my daughter-in-law said, my husband coming home, so let me get back to the house. Tell mm -hmm. <laughs> Kelly. Kelly, amen. Yes. My husband coming, so let me get back to the house. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't want him to come to the house and don't find me not there. Let me make sure I got his food and everything else ready for him when he comes. Never be here and find me not as I want to be. That's right. Amen. Amen. Read. Things so happen true. for a reason. That's right. Let's right. come in suddenly. He finds you, find you sleeping. What? And what I say unto you. And what I say unto you today. What? I say unto all. I say unto all that's in the sound of my voice. What? Watch. Watch. If you ain't right, get right. That's right. If you're right, stay right. Yeah. Everybody read the truth today. So I said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall what? Make you free. Make you free. I didn't know the sound was coming. That's right. No one knew the sound was coming. That's right. But one thing is of a certainty, the sound came. Yes, like a trumpet. Trumpet shall sound. It was in the sound of a trumpet. That's it. That's it. What, what is that? Mm. You gonna look around? Just like that. Too late. That's right. Too late. People get ready. There's a train of coming. Mm. Thank you, Diggy. Thank you, Kyle, bitch. <clears throat> Let us continue to hold on, please. Be faithful unto the end that we might receive the promise, because the race is not given to the swift, the battle is not unto the strong, but unto them that hold out. Hold out. Anyway. Amen. Amen.